You didn't want a war, but you've got one. Monday Night Tuesday is here. We're back. It's me, Ross Jim, and I'm joined by Christopher and commentary. Guys, it is an absolute pleasure to be here at the Waterfront Arena for Monday Night Tuesday. Absolutely, Chris. I can't wait. All the weeks of planning, all the months of preparation have all come down to this. It's going to be a hell of a show. And what a card. What a card. We've got the scientist and a mystery opponent versus the tough nuts, Danny Bolt and Eddie Screw. Fantastic. We've been waiting for this. We heard from the scientist on the Power Hour this week, and he had some strong words, some very strong words indeed. And of course, it's the main event, the Battle Royal. To compete in that four-way for the championship ship, it's Chester Draws, Gymnastics, basically, Chunky Monkey, Mikey Shortles, and Man Ranchula. What a main event we've got coming up, guys. Oh my god, I cannot wait. We're going to see who's going to be crowned the first champion of Monday Night Tuesday. I can't wait, guys. But first, our opening contest. Forward contest, the schedule for both balls. Introducing first, from Baghdad, Iraq, costing 85 cents a barrel, oil. And it's really been a war to get this man here in Monday Night Tuesday. The Americans wanted him, the Russians wanted him. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Oil is finally here making his debut. In an exclusive deal for Monday Night Tuesday, so the third. The first war for Wednesday Night Wars, and we have won it. All right, I can't believe we've actually managed to get oil. So many wars have been fought over this man, but now he's in the most important war, the Wednesday Night Wars. And look at that glare. Look at that absolute shine. That comes from bathing in oil constantly, non-stop. I believe he actually only leaves oil baths to come and wrestle. It's going to take a hell of a person to beat this man. I don't know how, how anyone can beat him. He's seven foot tall and just he's just an absolute specimen. Well, it's not a man. It's not a man. It is a man and a spider kind of thing. It's here. It's Man Ranchula. Man Ranchula was actually on the power hour and I don't know what happened, but basically just didn't take too kindly to him. I, I, I like Man Ranchula. I think he's great. He's half man, he's half tarantula. He was actually bitten by a, a radioactive tarantula. And, you know, he's doing his best. There's one thing that he did say on the power hour. He did say that he had eight arms, but guys, I don't, by looking at him, I can only see two. It's a figure of speech. He's, well, he's, he's... I, I think, to your point, Chris, uh, I believe that imminently, as a, as commissioner of Monday Night Tuesday, actually made him remove six of his arms. So that's why to make it even. It's unfair, it's unfair. He was born with those arms, he should be able to use them, that's what I'd say. Oh, and it else might not be fair for Man Ranchula. He's double booked tonight. He will be appearing later on. So let's see if he can do it. I really hope he saves his strength. Yeah, you'd think he'd want to end this match quickly, wouldn't you? But we'll see what happens. Oil, oh, Man Ranchula. Monday night, Tuesday. It's the first match. Ring that bell, baby. Oh, he's tapping the well. Straight off the bat, Oil is trying to tap the well. Will Man Ranchula tap? He doesn't want to break his arm here. He's a really important competitor. He could actually win. Oh, he's struggling. He could actually win the title. Oh, what a reversal. Roll right through. Oh, a superb drop kick. Huge drop kick from Man Ranchula right there. Fun. Oh, what's this? Bit taunting. Man Ranchula's getting a bit cocky. Can it be? Oh, he's going for his finishing move. Oh. Let's go for it. Oh my god! Oh, right on the neck. A deep web straight off the back. Can he win? Pin him! Pin him! One. What an upside two. Oh. Oh. He looks so confused. That was the van that was the look that basically actually had when he saw Man Ranch for the first time. The fans' favourite and the bookies' favourite nearly getting pinned in the first minute. I can't believe that. He nearly won it and could still win it. Oil's in trouble here, guys. 
Man Manchester showing that he's not a joke like people make him out to be. Oh, and a lovely throw across the room from Oil. And if you're wondering, guys, imminently um, was in charge of ordering oh. the referee's oh. Oh. equipment. Operation Desert Storm! Oh, wow. He really needs to save his energy oh. for the Battle Royal later on. Can't be getting into too much trouble. To your point, um, my friend, yes, he's got to go double duty tonight, as we have mentioned. It's not going to work well for him. He needs to end this quickly or accept defeat. I know it's a tough thing to do and say, I'll lay down on the first of a Monday night Tuesday match, but you got to think about the future here. Championship ship. That ship's going to sail. You know, everyone goes on about Man Manchester saying, you know, he's a bit of a joke, you know, he's just copying off Spider-Man, but he's, he's given as good as he gets here against Oil. He is, isn't he? And I'll tell you what, he's absolutely webbing Oil everywhere. And the way he threw him over the ropes then, I think that'll come in handy later in the Battle Royale. He's really showing off what he can do. Oh, yet again. Oh! And Oil's out the ring. What's going on here? Oh. He's going up to he's the top. He's climbing up the oh water spout. Oh, no, he's gone down the water spout. Oil just moved out the way just at the right time there. Good reversal there. Straight to the fans of Monday Night Tuesday. Oh, webbed him. He's webbing him. He's webbing him everywhere. Look at these combinations. This is going to serve him well in the Battle Royal later on. Oil grabbing Man Ranchler by the tuft of the back. And the front row of the MNT Cosmos go crazy. And, and just to be clear, guys, uh, they may look closer, but it's the trick of the camera. They actually are all social distancing. And they've all had showers, thankfully. Yeah. One key requirement here in Monday Night Tuesday, you must shower before you enter. Must like any swimming pool. Unlike shows Big from, slam from oil there. the marks in Georgia. Who goes for the pin? For the pin again. Oh. oh, one count, one count. Oil will not be happy with that. And really, you know, this first match, you, you, we've said about, you know, Man ranch has got a second second match tonight, but you don't want to lose that first match. That kind of defeat will really reverberate around the globe or for our flat earth following across the earth. Oh, he's actually going for a submission here. I think Man ranch needs to cut his losses here. He's, he's a big competitor he's in the Battle Royal and he doesn't want to go in injured. But I also just let him go there. He's going for the pin instead. One. Two. Oh, kick out. He's got the two, though. He's got the two count now. He's going to work with elbows now. He's working that arm. Van Ranchula looks in a lot of trouble here. So, co commentary, tell me, though. Do, do you think if he's lost six other arms, do you reckon he's developed um, extra strength in the two remaining ones? I really hope so. You know, you know, it's, it's really unfair the way the commission decided that he wasn't allowed to have those extra arms because I think... You know, he was born with those arms. He should be oh. able to use them. It's just not fair. Oh, another desert storm. He's going for another one. Oh, this is just cruel here. Man Ranchula needs oh, to this just... Oh, this, this, is, this is a drone strike. Man Ranchula just really needs to cause his last day. He needs to just give in to this just pin right now. Take the pin. Take the pin. Two. Oh, he's he's just so tough. He's so he's resilient. He's too much pride. He's, he has too much pride. He's so resilient. With good power right. comes good ah. responsibility by Man Ranchula. So that's what Man Ranchula's auntie always said to him. Oh, this is just cruel at the moment. This is animal abuse. This is insect abuse. Someone needs to arrest Oil. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Oil. Oh, oh, oh. is Oil is, is Oil running out? He looks very tired in the ring. Very groggy. Well, not another one. You have to spend a lot of energy to pull. Oh, this is this oh, is he's this is getting it. out of hand now. The referee needs to step in and stop this. The man's got a match later on. There's a storm brewing, a desert storm. Go, oh, come on, man, Ranch. He needs to just let one, this go now. Two, oh, he's, oh, he's just so tough. He doesn't want to lay down. I'm oil rightly asking, what do I need to do to put this insect away? And the crowd can't oh, believe it. Up. Oh no! Oh, oh this could no. be it. Oh, oh, this could be it. This could be the final strike. It's the crude awakening. And the crude ending! This could be all over now. Just lay down now. This is gonna be it, guys. One, two, 
three. Oil, the first winner of the Monday Night Tuesday match. You love him, we love what him. What a match, what a match. Oil. And I keep going back to this, everyone saying, saying Man Ranchula is a bit of a joke. He needs to watch this match because he, he gave everything he could in this match, even though he's got a match later yeah. on. A a any, Very unfair to him. Anyone with less honour would, would have laid down and just said, yeah, I've got a second match later. It's not fair the commission have made me cut off six legs. They've made me have two matches, but now, what a man of honour Man Ranchula is. And ladies and gentlemen, Certainly is. Oil will be taking this confidence on to episode two of Monday Next Tuesday when he will be in the next Battle Royale in week two. I feel sorry for all the five other competitors in that match, Chris. Absolutely. If there's anything to go by, yes, absolutely. And we're seeing some of the highlights now of, uh, of this match. And, you know, to be fair, Matt guys, just would not go he down would not, would he? He would not stay down. It took um, it took two brutal blows by Oil to finally put him down. Chris, what, what, what were they called? I believe you had a, you had the inside scoop on Oil's finishes. The crude awakening and the crude ending. You're not getting up after the crude ending, guys. No one's actually ever kicked out of the crude ending. No. Or the crude awakening, for that matter. Putting them both together is just cruel. It's crude and cruel. And there he is, glistening in the waterfront. Oil. We can't wait to see you in episode two. He's a fan's favourite. Everyone just loves oil. But the strange thing about oil, uh, the strange thing about oil is, you know, his, his stock was actually through the floor like a couple of weeks ago. You know, you know, they were talking about, you know, him paying us to wrestle. And we got our next match coming up very soon. Oh, What's this? could it? Could it be? He's going to be here next week. Imminently, it's confirmed he will be here on episode two on Monday Night Tuesday. At last, he'll be here at the I don't, I don't want to be a conspiracy theorist about this, guys, but, you know, the scientist has got a mystery partner in the next match. Could it be imminently? Ooh. Hopefully. I cannot wow. wait. <laughs> Just all about just getting the job done, like like we did when we, we got out of the EU. Well, I actually asked them what, uh, to sum themselves up in three words, and they said Brexit, beer, and birds. So I think that pretty much covers off what they stand for. I think we can all agree with that. Oh, it's a scientist! Look at that walk. He knows he is going to be joined by an absolute mega, mega player in the wrestling world. He wants to get to the ring very quickly. Well, ladies and gentlemen, our first international, uh, Euro our European wrestler we have all the way from Berlin. And <laughs> look at that, look at him go. You might know him, if you're a big techno fan, you'll know the scientist from the German techno scene. Who's he got? Who's he recruited? It's the superstar! Coming straight from developmental, it's the superstar. Hasn't yet developed. Well, that's not fair, you know, th this guy doesn't even, have, doesn't even have a gimmick. I don't know how he's, how he's... He hasn't even got theme music. He hasn't even got pants. This guy hasn't even got pants.
He actually had to borrow a pair of shorts. He had to borrow a pair of shorts from oil. He could surprise us here. You never know. Well, he's still very young, lads. You know, he could he could end up being something. But right now, he doesn't even have he doesn't have, even have his own theme music. This is just this is not fair on the scientist. You know, he's going up against two rough and tumble blokes like Danny Bolt and Eddie Screw. You know, I've got to say though, he does look. It's just not fair. Quite, he does look a lot bigger than the scientist. So maybe he'll surprise us all. Looks very small. Yeah, he looks a bit generic to me. Well, we shall see. Have to see. Well, we'll have to see what happens with his character development. But now we know. It's going to be the Tough Nuts versus the Scientist and the Superstar. The SS, if you will. Come on, the Tough Nuts. Do it for Her Majesty. Oh, straight into the back. And the crowd are booing here, but... And you know, there's quite... There's quite they're booing, but I've seen quite a few signs in the crowd saying Bold is beautiful. Now, I'm not sure if that's ironic, but I'm sure the Tough Nuts will take it uh, anyway. It certainly is. There's nothing wrong with being bored. Go on, the scientist straight away. Shows you're a, ver a virile man. Taking some big blows from Eddie Screw. The scientist straight from a, a German rehab clinic where he was addicted to insulin. Now we'll see that how it affects him. I don't believe he's had insulin for a couple of months. And we, we heard all from the scientist on the last week's Power Hour. And um, I, I'll be honest, I didn't think we thought that the superstar would be his first choice, um, but you know, let's see how it pans out. These could be future t tag team champions we're looking at here, guys. It could work. Well, it's, a, it's a scientist's own fault for entering the tag division without a partner. It's just, it's just basic maths. And you think for anyone, a scientist would be good at maths. Oh, he's turning the screw there. Lovely turning suplex. And the superstar's very concerned. I'm, not, I'm thinking it's very early in the match. Maybe some of his inexperience there for running into the ring so early on. But we all know they're coming against these veterans of the game. Danny Bolt, Eddie Screw. Just proper, proper lads. Danny Bolt just straight away gets him. It's not Danny Bolt's first time around the ring. It certainly isn't. Not everyone who's booing him is probably just a special snowflake. Want to be wrapped up in cotton wool. And that's what not, not what this country was built on. And again, round the back. Oh. I mean, it's the corner now. They're really isolating the ring here. Proving once again that Bald is beautiful. Oh, yes. big knees to the face there. And that's, I tell you, he's in trouble here, the scientist. He's in trouble. And Superstar's in and he breaks it up. What? Well, I think we all expected more from the scientist here. I think he's um, oh. he's looking a bit beleaguered here. And now he's, he's, in, he's in some kind of hold. Well, he managed to escape somehow. I don't know, quite know how. Well, he's rolled out. A racist looks on with some encouragement for the boys. Oh, scientist, great reversal. And a knee to the stomach and a spinning clothesline. Can he get the tag? He needs to make this tag right here. And Superstar, he's going to get in the ring. He's in. It's Superstar. Oh. Oh, caught straight away. Straight away. Couldn't even get a simple clothesline in. I wonder what the Superstar's going to do. I don't think, I believe he has developed a moveset yet. Well, you know, the lad's young and he's, you know, he's still learning. He's in, he's in development right now, so. Oh, but a great. Oh, he used his own head there. And the Lufez press. And the scientist loves it. Look at him go. And a bit of taunting the crowd there. Probably not wise from the superstar. He's only hit one clothesline, and and look at him. He's showing off. And now he yeah, does the. Want, doesn't want to get ahead of himself. No, he doesn't. Oh, he got kicked right with the steel toe cap boots. Ah, I see, and there, there we go. The experience there. And he's just pushed down there by Eddie Screw. You know, it's bad enough getting kicked, but, you know, getting kicked by a pair of steelies is not fun. No, not and it whipped, Irish whipped right into the the uh, corner there. Great tag team. Tough oh, not having the way with oh. the superstar at the minute. Oh, the whole oh, is like, double team. Oh, man. right into the leg. Oh, his leg could be shattered. Veterans of the game, these two classic British wrestlers have been wrestling since they were six years old. And Racist loves it. Oh, he's, he's letting me a hot tag. It's the hot tag. Nuclear oh. hot. Big clothesline. And a drop kick. 
and he pops straight back up and he's had none of that. A good old Irish win into the corner again and a clothesline. Scientists just can't get any momentum going. And you know, the tough nuts, they are just veterans of the game. They're not going to let the scientists breathe for one moment. Day. If you love power, and you love our, then you love the Power Hour. We're here, bringing the latest news on Monday Night Tuesday, wrestling in general, and isolation. It's me, Ross. And me, Chris. On a to-be-confirmed basis, including exclusive interviews with Monday Night Tuesday's roster. Too powerful to be a podcast, and too powerful to be on the radio. Join our small community. The what community? The small community. All right. It's the Power Hour community. Live from the Lizard Lounge, listen to the Power Hour. We're back! And Superstar is still struggling here. The Tough Nuts are really trying to turn the screw. And again, another big knee to the face there. In, in, the, uh, in the ad break there, really there was non-stop action from the Tough Nuts. Oh, that was very close. That was like a two and a half. That should have been three. That was a, that was a slow count from referee Roy there. And Danny Bolt having a, having some time there in the corner to have a bit of a chat to racist. No doubt about where they're going to be drinking after this. Well, maybe they need to take, take, keep their eye on the game here because Superstar is... He's looking for the tag and Scientist eventually tags him in. Ooh, a bit of dissension there. Not happy about his partner. I think... Scientist did not I want to get in the ring then. I think Superstar's realising that he's actually a better, better wrestler than the Scientist. He certainly gets on to get some notions above his station, isn't he? That's going to happen here, Eddie Screw, pacing around the ring. And and to, and to your point, to your point, Chris, they've actually shown a lot more from the superstar than oh, has been oh. from the scientist. But look at that major, major hurricane runner there, and he mocks him. He mocks Playing him. A bit of there. He shouldn't be allowed to do that. But there we go, big steel toe cap boot to the face. Oh, and that, he gets the receipt. Big clothesline there. And again, back to the face, trying to crank that neck. His goggles are steaming up. Danny Bolt hasn't been in the ring often, but when he has, he's just looked, looked like a machine. Oh, and tops the block. Like a proper grafter. He just gets the job done. Certainly does, like Boris did when he got us out to the EU. Oh, he's going, going for the leg lock. Big leg lock there. Oh, he lets him go, he lets him go. And Eddie Screw coming back in. Well, I'll tell you what, Scientist has been... He's been pummeled this match. Absolutely pummeled. The crowds are going wild. He's going for the pin. They think the end's near. Oh, oh. off the ropes! Referee, look up! Ref, ref! Oh. oh, referee Roy. Oh, brilliant work there. He's just he's just doing exactly what he has to do to win. You know, if the referee can't see it, that's, his, that's his own fault. Well, I don't think that's a scientific approach, but the scientists have certainly come out strong there with big power on the corner. And again, he's laughing about it. He's having a good old laugh. Don't see what's so funny myself. And a big leg DDT. Now, Superstar, he, he wants in. You can see he wants in this match, and Scientist does, does not want to go in. Oh. And a big rolling by to the face. The scientists are looking pretty tired there. He's going for the pin. Kick out, Eddie, come on. Ah, uh, but Racist, I tell you, Race is looking a bit nervous. Racist is looking a bit nervous in there. He's pacing now around ringside. Great reversal. Oh. Ah, oh, big backdrop. See, you have to think, scientists really probably could have tagged in there, Superstar, and uh, he just didn't Drags want to. Drags his carcass across the ring. Out. Is he's it going to cost him? Danny Bolt now, I'm sure. Danny Bolt's got to come in, finish the job. Yes. Oh, scientist, he's up, he's playing possum again, but the tough nuts, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on Brexit. The scientist really getting beat oh. up now. Oh, but is he, what's he, what's he going to do? Is that? It's the oh, no. another, another leg submission. Oh, is it? It's the gate of London, it's the gate of London. Is he going to tap? The scientist, he's never oh to go, it's over, the match is over. 
Big win for the Tough Nuts there. Oh, superstar losers and scientists. Tough Nuts win. Tough Nuts win. Future tag team champions, guys. Oh, I'm pretty sure they will be. I'm pretty sure they will be. Oh, on this showing, absolutely. These guys are going to be unstoppable. And let's be clear here. The Tough Nuts work as a team. Non-stop as a team there. The scientists and the superstar, there was no chemistry. No communication. No double teaming. I think they um Part tag teaming, you need to be able to tag team one. I think the superstar will be going straight back down to developmental. I don't think you can blame the superstar really, you know, he's, he's brand new, but the scientist should know better really, with all his intelligence. He should, and Racist loves it. Racist, giving out That's now. what happens guys when you pick a green, when you get a green wrestler to, to try and be your partner. That's true. Yeah, he's talent of nuts, well done. He's, he's saying, look at this Marks in Georgia, look at what we can do. And up next, we've got an interview with a very mystery man in Monday Night Tuesday, Greg. No one's ever heard him speak. We don't know what he's about, but he'll be here. He's coming to the ring right now. I think about the only thing you can get out about Greg is that he really likes flumps because his, his name was spelled in flumps when we, when we first met Greg. But he didn't speak very much, so we're just interested in what he's got to say. Yeah, he's coming to the ring now. Well, I actually went to catering before and there was no flumps left. Oh, is, is Greg eating all the flumps again? Well, interestingly, I, I actually I actually tried to sit down with, with Greg today in catering, and um, he was there for about an hour. Didn't say a single word to me, just kept eating flumps. So um, clearly we'll need to speak to him and and make sure that more flumps are bought for the next episode. In fact, could you write that down and, and, tell, and tell the top brass that... Um, Next episode, um, order some more flumps. Absolutely, yeah. As many flumps as possible. We're gonna have, we need, gonna need a truckload. Yeah, the Fed in New York, they couldn't get enough flumps to get this man in the ring. But we can't. Yeah, that's the thing. When we were negotiating with Greg, we didn't, we didn't, he didn't actually ask for any money. He just asked for as many flumps as we can possibly get. But yeah, you know, obviously didn't say that out loud. It was, it was in writing. Oh, he's going for the cameraman. Um, maybe the cameraman looks. Get out the way, cameraman Steve. <laughs> Maybe he actually looked a bit flumpy, I don't know. But um, I'll tell you what, Greg's walking to the ring with the, the, the demeanour of a man who has eaten quite a lot today. Oh, and, and quite the bump oh. into the ring there. As he staggers forward. I, I the crowd can't believe it. I don't know about you guys. I, 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 I can't wait to hear what he's got to say here. Oh, he's made it. He's made it to the corner. Just... Look at that celebration. He, he thinks the match is over. He thinks, yeah. He's looking around the ring now for the microphone. It's in the corner, <laughs> in, the, in the cor Greg. corner. No, the, the other corner. It's in the corner. <laughs> Left. 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 There, there, the, the, over there. There we go. He's, he's, got, go. It. he's got it now. Go. I think he's, he's got, got it now. He's getting the hang of it now. Right, you can do it, fella. Yeah, speaking yeah. to the speaking It's the, to the, it's the top, top part. Yeah, yeah. Don't Speaking eat it. Speaking to the top part. There you go. Oh, yeah, that's it. Dawn. <laughs> oh, oh, strong words. I'm not, I strong think words indeed. Words like words. Words. He's, he's leaving. He, he's gone. I don't think any more needed to be said. I think, I think that, I think that's loud and clear. And uh, he, he's, he's out of here. Greg is on his way out. He's going. Put that in a club, guys. I think we have a future champion on our hands here, guys. Yeah. Strong words and... Put that for next and episode. quite frankly, doesn't care. He's out of here. He's going. Back to catering. But now, guys, it's our main event. It's the Battle Royal. I can't wait. Chester draws, gymnastics, basically, the Chunky Monkey, Mikey Shornals, and Matt Ranchiller again. It's the Battle Royal for a place in the Fatal 4-Way. Fatal 4-Way for the championship ship. You know what you want to do with that, right? You want to put a banging donk on it. The Fire Cutters is a six-man battle royal. From Charlie England, Basic Lee. A very popular man on the internet, basically. He was on the Power Hour recently, uh, and we found out, of course, he's got 500,000 followers. Um, and he doesn't use it to promote Monday Night Tuesday, but you no, know, he doesn't care. He's just interested in this wrestling a lot because his bird said he needed to. He just cares about, you know, his, you know, he works on the building site every day. You know, comes back, wrestles, 
and um, he just loves house music and just, you know, bevying with, as he would put it, the lads. Well, actually, some of the lads are here tonight in the front row. You can see them, look at them go wild. Basically, it doesn't, you know... Look at that. Oh. And, you know, he's had a feud with Man Ranch a lot. putting this on his daily, behind the scenes. No, he, he will, we'll see what happens with Man Ranch above next. Who's coming out now? Oh, here he is. it's the Chunky Monkey. From Bongo. From the Congo. Chunky Monkey. And look at the flames. Look at the fireworks. What a man. And he's walking with purpose here, guys. This is one scary man. Him, him and Chester draws, I'm going to say, yeah, the two favourites here. Two huge, well, well, not men. Monkey and um, one of them is actually made of oak, so neither of them are actually fully men. And they exchange words in the power hour, of course, on separate interviews. But of course, uh, Chester Draw is saying that he has a lot of friends in the jungle, and I'm sure that he would like to know more of the Chunky Monkey, so I'm sure that'll be something interesting to keep an eye on during this match. My money's on the Chunky Monkey. Oh, a bold claim. And here he is, it's Gymnastics. Look at that swagger to the ring. This is a man who is... He's, he, we haven't really given him much air time, but yeah, he's very interesting and I'm, I'm, I'm interested to see what you can see in this match. He's um, he's a very much a map based wrestler. Why is he very walking like very that? Flipping. Why can't he just walk normally? Why is he walking well, like that? Well, part of his routine, I believe, so he's getting ready to... Get the to hips move. moving. You can exactly, yeah. throw people over the top rope back I don't like it. I think he yeah. should just walk I mean, like, look, look a, that like a normal oh, man. No hand moonsault. He is very flexible, I, I will give him that. Power. I'll tell you what, guys. He, he will. I tell you, this guy is ready to last a long time in this match. He's got all the stamina, the most stamina out of anyone in this ring, so he'll be there to the very end, I'm telling you. Gymnastics, he, he'll be there at the end. Look at him flexing. All part of his warm-up, guys. Who have we got next? Oh, gymnastics can break. Oh, it's Mikey Shornals! British oh, wrestling him on the, legend. The last power hour. British wrestling legend. Absolute legend. And he makes, and of course, you know, a good friend of basically, as we found out on the Power Hour, and a legend. Um, some some strong words to say about that, um, and I quote Yankee Can from the Fed in New York. And we're looking forward to see what he can do it here. Will he find his smile? I don't understand how, he, how he's gotten away with it for so for so long. You know, he's, he's, he's come up with all these great ideas and these great gimmicks, and you know, they just all get stolen by by Shawn Michaels in America, and I, I just, I, I don't get how he's gotten away with it for so long. I wonder if he'll spot the person in the front row wearing a Shawn Michaels t-shirt. I hope for that guy's sake he doesn't see him. No, I see, Mikey Shawn was too much of a pro to even let that bother him. He le he's learned long ago that the crowd doesn't matter in all things wrestling. He is such a sexy geezer. This is the big, the big man himself. <laughs> the big man. The one we're all scared of. Chester draws, and what a unit that man is. Oh, fire! Ooh, wow, I don't know about that. Imminent Lee will be having some strong words said to him after this, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, you, you, can't, you can't let fire around Chester draws. It's it's his real crypto. Yeah, Imminent Lee shouldn't be ordering pyro. He should not be ordering pyro with Chester draws. It's highly, highly flammable. Well, uh, wood, for God's sake. Well, we'll need to have a word of that. And, and, um,. And commentary. Do you have anything to say about maybe um, Chester draws warm up for this match? How does he prepare? Well, I, I've heard. I actually, I listened to his interview on the Power Hour. He actually has to get varnished one hour a day by Mrs. Draws. Mrs. Draws varnishes him for one hour a day. That's why he's so well varnished. He does have that smooth oak finish. And of course, but that will, if it's not quite dry properly, that will hamper his ability to hold onto the ropes as he gets pushed over the ring. So I'm not holding that much hope for Chester Draws. I think he's going to slip right over the top. But this is the man. This is the man. Well, not man. Half man, half tarantula. Here he is again. Man Rantula. He's back. Come on, man Rantula. I'm, I'm double juicy. I know it's not very professional to say, but I'm hoping man Rantula wins the whole thing. I'm just going to say it. I, I, I think you speak for the entire Sparta community when you say that. What community? The Sparta community. All right. Here he comes again. And I'll tell you what, he, he's looking fresh. He doesn't look like he was in a match earlier today. 
I'm sure, I'm sure he is hurting, and I'm sure he's trying to hide it well, but man ran to them. And he's, hide, he's hiding them bruises under all that hair. Well, do you reckon he's actually been able to swap the, his old two arms for two of the old arms that got cut off? So it's like two fresh arms now. I would not put past him. He'll do whatever he has to do to win. Well, that's all the competitors. Went. Strong words in the background by Chester Draws and Chunky Monkey. See them talking away to each other. Now, the interesting thing to re watch here will be the matchup between basically Man Ranchler and Chester Draws and Chunky Monkey. But here we go. Oh, and we're off. Here we go. It's our main event. Chester Draws with gymnastics straight away into the corner. Oh, look at Mikey Sean oh. up in the air. Oh, he's oh, picking him up. Oh, takes Chester Draws gymnastics. gymnastics? No. He's doing, gymnastics he's doing it. Is out. He's gymnastics. He's gone. He's gone. He's gone. Whoa, that's a shock. Chester Draws picked him up and threw him out. But I must say, he nailed the landing. Certainly did, 10 out of 10 That landing. must be the quickest elimination in this company's history. It's also the only elimination in this, com in this company's history. Well, Mikey Shornos is out cold there. He took a banana bomb straight, straight away. Gymnastics does not look happy. Look at him. He, he, I tell you what, he's not swaggering away from the ring now, is he, boys? Oh, but basically he's going straight for Man Ranchley. Oh. He didn't appreciate him gate crashing his interview Chess. on the power Chester going for the big oh, is he going to go? Oh, he's missed the clothesline, basically. Oh, well, that's the thing, you see. He's been working on the building site all day. He hasn't quite got the strength in his arms that he did have this morning. The staff's paying attention oh, to Mac Ranchula. What a neck Man breaker by Man Ranchula. Oh, Chester, Chester Draws and Mikey Shornall's both ganging up now on the monkey powers straight out there with some ape strength. It's going to take a lot more than that to get rid of the chunky monkey. Oh, and the two friends go at it. Yeah. Basically, Mikey Shornals, they don't care. They know the championship ship is available. Man Ranchless smartly taking a breather after he was exhausted from that match with Oil earlier on. But Mikey Shornals is coming. Oh, a big spine of the pine there from Chunky Monkey. And a kick from basically. Who's, who's impressed you so far, the boys? Oh. Who's, who's been your uh, number Mikey one? Oh, oh, gone, yeah. team. Mikey Shornals, he, Mikey he, Shornals. he's gone. He's gone. Legend, oh, the strength of Man Ranchula and Man Ranchula alone. Chester draws second elimination there so far. Oh, but it's basically with the Jaeger bomb. The Jaeger bomb and Man Ranchula. Oh, um, oh what a lovely Michinoku driver, which I do believe, as you said, is called the Jaeger bomb. It's his favourite drink, apparently. He loves that and just having a pint with the lads. And it's basically trying to eliminate Man Ranchula. We're looking for... As Chunky Monkey's trying to eliminate Chester Draws. Four opponents left. It's the feuds that you've all wanted to see. Oh, Man oh! Ranchula's gone. Man Ranchula's out. Man, he's gone. Basically frozen down the water spout. Oh, wow. I think... Oh, look at him. He loves it. He loves Chester's it. And Chester Draws saying, that. no, no, no. He's having no, none of that. Don't gloat, boy. And I feel quite sorry for basically now with the two big men. He's in there with two monsters. Two absolute monsters. Oh, oh Chunky Monkey there saying no, basically. Chester is mine. Suplex. I want him. Oh, monster oh. suplex. And the Chunky Monkey, he's up on the ropes. Monkey he thinks he's back in the jungle. Oh, oh what a super oh, suplex. Big suplex. Unbelievable there. Big German there from the Chester. With, with this much on the line, you can't, you've got to use your monkey brain and just realise that you can't be celebrating before the match is over. Basically doing the right thing. Having a nice break, yeah. The road dog method, as I believe it's known across the world. Oh. Have a lay down in the corner. Chunky Monkey nearly oh, gone, and, man. Oh, he's in trouble. Well, that's that's his jungle instinct. Lazy swing by Chester. Jungle instinct right there, the boys. And Chester again. One punch. Picks him and up. a massive throw out is basically going to go. Come on, Lee. Is he going to go? He's holding there. up a day of life. Come on, Lee. You can do it. Oh, there's, there's no way you can stay oh, in here. Oh, here comes Monkey as well. There's two, there's two of them on him, two monsters on him, and he, there's no way you can stay can in. They, can they do it? Come on, Lee. He's fighting. He's big fighting. Oh, he oh, big elbow. He's, he's resisted, basically. The he's showing from more basically. substance there. How has he done that? That's them oh, 500,000 oh. fans behind him. Oh, he's basically. gone. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's gone. Chunky Monkey, chest the drawers. Just had enough on a big boot from Chunky Monkey. Chunky Monkey the going to the top of One banana. You ain't going to peel. And he's willing them to get he's off. swinging across the vines. There he goes. The bunch of bananas coming off the top rope. Oh! Oh, straight on the head. Chester Draws is in trouble here. 
He's gone up he's to the top trouble. rope again. Monkey's going to win now. Big risk here from the Chunky Monkey. Oh, he's very comfortable up on that top rope. He's going to go for Umbongo. Oh. oh! Oh! Oh, he counts it! Suplex from Chester Draws. We Chunky Monkey got a bit complacent there. He wants him out. He wants him gone. Chester Draws. Oh! He's gone! Chester Draws! Chester Draws will be in the Fatal 4 way. I can't believe what I just witnessed. Chunky Monkey had him one. Chunky Monkey had that one. He didn't use his monkey brain by enough Certainly there. didn't. And you know, Chester's been around for... Don't think he drank enough on Bongo. You know, say what you want about Chester Draws, but you know, he's been around for 150 years. You learn a few things in that time. You certainly do, you learn a few things in that time. What a match, what a match. Oh, what a main event we gave you guys there. Fantastic. And what an evening. I'm really what nervous, an... I just cannot wait for episode two. Oh, it's going to be incredible. We've got another... It's going to be incredible. We've got another Battle Royal for you next week to decide who goes into the Fatal 4-Way. But how can you stop Chester Draws? How can anyone stop this man? This unit of a beast? I don't think anyone can. He's just built. Built strong. Built to last. It certainly is. And thank you from the Waterfront Arena, guys. This has been the first episode of Monday Night Tuesday. Thank you, and we look forward to seeing you next month with Volume 2 of Monday Night Tuesday. See you soon.